hi everyone so welcome back to another tutorial today i'm going to show you how to find the name servers dns propagation status ip record and other dns records for any domain so you have to use this website called lookmydns.com the link will also be in the description it is a free tool so here you will have to enter the domain name for which you want to check the records so just for this demo i'm going to use google.com and then you have to select the type of record you are looking for so here you will see there are many options available so first the common option we need is this ns it means name servers this is the ip cname txt ptr uh, i will explain all the details first let's find the name servers of this domain google.com click on find so what this tool will do is it will check with multiple dns uh, servers across the globe and show you the information available so these are the name server records of google.com you can find here and let's say i want to find the ip of google.com the ip currently it is pointing to so it is useful when you just created a website or you migrated a website to a different host and you want to see if your domain is pointing to the new server or not click on find and here you can see the the information is different for each name server depending on the location because google uses any cast server so they don't just have a single server ip they have multiple servers located across the globe and it's all distributed and stuff but for most websites you will find one ip and now let's say and you will see that all these ip are just ipv4 now if i want to see the ipv6 record then select this option and click on find and you will see all the ipv6 records now the next thing we need sometime is this um, cname record okay so a lot of people confuse this now if i just uh, enter google.com here and then click on find you will see that there is uh, it will show no record available now why that happens is because cname is basically used for subdomains usually so subdomain is pointing to a main domain um, let's see if google has any so for example i will use a www dot option and see if they have a cname record so they don't okay so after some tries i finally found a domain which has a cname record so either uh, it depends on the domain owners how they want to set the dns records some like to use the cname option some like to use the direct a ip option so depending on that if you have a cname record only then you will be able to see the result so example this domain look.com is using the subdomain www uh, and they have a cname record for this okay so after this uh, this is the txt verification record it is usually used for verifying services like for google analytics uh, webmaster tools or something like that let's see if this domain has that okay so you can see they have this record and then this is the ptr record so um, if i remove the subdomain because mostly the ptr record is basically for email verification and it is not common to have this record so let's try for another domain okay so if this is not available in this case here and then there are other records but you won't really need them so this is how you can check the dns propagation status of any website and this website also has another useful tool called who is lookup so you can use this tool to find the owner details or any details about any website i will take this google.com click on lookup and make sure that you do not enter anything else other than the domain name okay so you can see the results of google.com you can find all the important information about it here the creation date the updated date and when this will expire you can see it will expire in 2028 and who is the registrar and what are the name servers and if the information about this company was public then you will be able to find their contact information also so that's all about this video i hope you found this tool useful if you are a website owner or you want to create your website in future bookmark this website this will be really useful to check the dns status and diagnose any issue so you you will need this tool to check 
all the DNS records if you subscribe for a third party DNS server, uh, email server or something like that then you will have to check if the DNS is working or not then you can use this website.